Hello everybody and welcome to episode number 7 of the Full Mingo Football Manager 20 Road to Glory series. Last time out we had a rough one. The games went okay, not too bad, could have been worse. We lost not one, not two, but three of our star players and it hurts. It hurts me right in the heart. But the show must go on, we will continue to mingo, and we wish them nothing but the best in the rest of their careers. But for us, that means that the rest of the team needs to step up. We're going to try some different tactics, we're going to try moving some things around, getting some players, some playing time that haven't really been able to so far in the season. So hopefully with some additional playing time, they can prove that they could have been doing this the whole time. We're moving forward without the stars. We can do it, I believe, in the team that we've put together here. Before we get into it, if you've been enjoying the series so far, make sure you drop a like on the video. Subscribe if you are new to the family. Click the bell icon so you don't miss a single episode of the series. Now let's get going. So in today's episode, we are going to be playing through the month of December. We'll get into January. Maybe get a little transfer window going. We obviously have some players to replace. We'll see what the finances are looking like once we get to that point. Spoiler alert, they're bad. So we won't be doing anything in the January transfer window, I'm sure. Maybe alone if we're lucky. Let's get into our first game at home against Wilmington. There is the team that we're going to play. We're going back to our 4-4-2 against Wilmington. They are 22nd in the league. We are in seventh. Should be a good game to get a win. We have our first choice back line, our first choice midfielders. Now our new first choice wingers in Jiro Toyama and Jamal Cox. And we're throwing both Zaire Bartley and Vocek Vocek up top hopefully banging some goals let's get some points all right we are kicking off in madison wisconsin there's snow on the ground wouldn't have it any other way let's go vocek on the free kick just outside the box this could be dangerous we know we can hit him vocek 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 beautiful free kick we know he can hit him from that that spot that is his spot on the field his 13th goal of the season Good stuff from the Polish poacher. Goes in the middle, finds Eric Leonard, who goes out wide to Taylor Hunter. He's got some space for a cross. Jamal Cox, Jiro Toyama puts it away. Beautiful stuff. We are cooking on gas here. This is the 22nd placed team. We can't get too excited, but good things to see from the guys who are coming in to replace our star players who we've lost. There's the halftime whistle, 2-0 at the break. We need to keep going. We need to score more goals because, honestly, the past two episodes, our defense has not been able to hold on late in the game. So I think we're kind of at a point where we just need to score more goals than we let in, which is not a good place to be. All right, second half now. All right, we're switching to cautious. We're sitting back a little bit deeper. Eric Leonard with a free kick. Goes all the way across. Ariano's there. Hugo Ariano with his second goal of the season. Beautiful free kick there from Eric Leonard. And we are going to wrap it up there. Three to nothing for forward Madison FC over Wilmington. Again, they are in 22nd place. We can't get too excited about it, but I'm very happy with what I saw from this team. All right, there is the team that we we're playing against Atlanta United. This time we are away from home. I should say it's Atlanta United 2. So it is their second team. They are sitting in 19th in the league. We are now in sixth. Again, should be a decent game for us, although we are away from home. Basically unchanged starting 11 for us. Connor Tobin is coming back in the side. He's back from injury. Everything else is the same. Let's get some points. Kicking off. Here we go. They have a free kick here. Oh my goodness. Alex Cap just totally missed it. Luckily, it's disallowed but cap just ran right by it all right that was the only highlight of the half here we go second half now hopefully a little more to show for it than that first half all right we're still on it come on boys hunter up to vocic nate go nate go all right he picks up the flubbered ball i don't even know what that word means but picks it up scores a goal nate gall beautiful stuff if you remember all the way back in the preseason, he is one of our youth players. 
He scored like four goals in four games. He was an absolute stud. He's 16 years old, brought him off the bench, scores a goal. You love to see it. Play your kids. Nobody's there. Now Atlanta's on the ball. Looks like they have some room. Somebody get there. Eric Leonard makes a big tackle. Gives up the free kick, and he's already on a yellow. That's his second. Goodbye, Eric Leonard. Closing minutes here. There we go. There's the final whistle. Eric Leonard gets sent off in the 93rd minute. Luckily, we're able to close out the game without him. Nate Gall, his first goal as a senior player. Oh, my heart is just about to burst. Good for him. What a kid. And with that, Nate Gall becomes the youngest ever Madison goal scorer. I think in this database, this is the first year Madison even exists, so it's kind of a given. But still, good for him. Nate Gall, remember the name. He's going to be the next JC Banks. Calling it now. I'm basing that on a couple preseason games. But would we really be an American soccer club if we didn't hype up the young prospects. It's all about the hype here in America. So get on the hype train, get on the Nate Gall train, all aboard, choo-choo. All right, and in our next game against Hartford at home, this is the team that we're gonna play. The only change being Brandon Eaton coming into the midfield for Eric Leonard, who is suspended from his double yellow cards in the last game. Hartford is in 16th place. We have a good opportunity here to keep this run going. Kicking off now. Come on, the boys. All right, Alex Cap goes long. Jiro Toyama is up there. He finds Zaire Bartley's throw and goal. Zaire Bartley misses the goal. Rough. We're on a corner now. Zaire Bartley whips it in. Connor Tobin with the goal. Turbo Tobin, his third goal of the season, assisted by Zaire Bartley. Swartz now with the cross. Johnson is through. Cap is able to make the save. Good. All right, there's halftime. We're up 1-0 from a Connor Tobin goal. Finds Jamal Cox. Back out to Eaton. He finds Terrell Lowe on the right side. Terrell Lowe with the cross. To Toyama's there. Jiro Toyama. He's making up for it. The snow has fallen. We're in beautiful Madison, Wisconsin. Doesn't get any more forward Madison than that. There's the full-time whistle. Get in, boys. That's three in a row now. Good stuff from the lads. Oh no. Alex Cap has been injured. Six to seven weeks. All right, so we are totally changing things up for our next game. We're in the third round of the US Open Cup against San Juan. We know and we have known for quite a while that we don't have depth on our team especially now that we had those three main players leave at the end of last episode we're hurting for depth so we're gonna totally change things up we have a number of youth players on the field right now a uh, number of backups what we would call our first choice 11 is on the bench or even just not on the team sheet for today we need a lot of rest across those players so it's going to be tough to get through this game because most players on the field right now don't really have the match sharpness to play a full game, but we're going to ask them to and hope for the best. Basically, everybody is either second choice or lower, the one exception being Eric Leonard playing in midfield. He missed the last game because of suspension, so he is perfectly fit, ready to go. So he's going to play today. Everybody else is that second choice or lower. Brandon Barnes coming in in goal for the injured Alex Cap, He will be our new first choice goalkeeper for the duration of Alex Cap's injury. So this is the team that we're gonna go with. We're gonna hope for the best. We've already met the board expectations getting to the third round of this cup. So if we lose, we lose. Here we go, kicking off now, third round of the cup against San Juan FC. Here we go, the San Juan with the free kick. And we've given up a penalty. Oh, no. We don't want to shoot ourselves in the foot here, guys. Francis to take. Barnsey with the save. Brandon Barnes saves the penalty. Keeps us level. Nil-nil at the break. Happy with that. We are conceding more. They've taken more shots. think we are going to go try to push a little bit in the second half. Coming in the last 10 minutes here. Oh, boy. San Juan with the throw-in. Ramen goes to the middle. Arias is able to pick it up, finds Nate Gall up top. Sean Russell goes back to Nate Gall. 
Goes all the way across. Tenorio's there. Danny Tenorio puts it away in the 84th minute. His third goal of the season puts us ahead. Our B team coming up big. Five extra minutes. Come on, boys. Finish this out. There's the full-time whistle. 1-0 over San Juan. We're going on to the fourth round thanks to a goal in the 85th minute by Danny Tenorio, assisted by Nate Gall. The hype train is real. Hop on while you still can. Chew, chew. Also a big shout out to Brandon Barnes for saving the penalty in the 41st minute, keeping us level. Beautiful stuff from the youngins. And now we're in the draw for the fourth round. Let's go ahead and draw all in three, two, one, and boom. Oh boy, we get Louisville. Louisville City, who is in the championships. They're the league above us. That could be dicey. Let's see where they are. They are eighth in the championship. So they're a good squad. That'll be a tough game. That will be the fourth round of the US Open Cup. All right, now we have a big game against El Paso. This is the team that we're going to go with. We're sticking with that 4-1-4-1. We're going to pull it back. We're cautious. We're sitting back a little deeper. Not quite as open. We're staying narrow. We are playing El Paso away from home, and they are in fourth place in the league. We are currently sitting in sixth. Hopefully, we can do a smash and grab and get a goal here. That's basically what we're going for. We're playing for set pieces, try to nick a goal and run away with it. Here we go, we're back in the league, kicking off against El Paso in El Paso. Let's get a result here. Bosetti has a corner, he goes in, Barnes with a big save, very good. All right, come on, good second half now. We're getting the job done so far, we just can't get complacent with it. Stay on top of it. They have a free kick now, Bosetti all the way across. Oh no! Becky scores the header. All right, Hunter goes long, finds Volchek. Finds Bartley on the left wing. Bartley gets by one, gets by another. Oh, he almost hits that far post. Coming into the end of the game here. There's the final whistle. We lose 1-0 to El Paso. Mm, that one free kick, really. We played well outside of that. We had 17 shots to their 11. We played well. Gave up the one free kick. In our last game of the episode, we are playing Las Vegas. We are at home. This is the team that we're going to use. We're sticking with this 4-1-4-1. Similar starting 11 to our last game, although Valela is coming in to that deep line playmaker role and Tenorio out on the right. Everything else staying the same. Well, let's hope for the best. Come on, the boys. All right, Vegas is in 11th. We have a good opportunity here. We need to take it. Leonard picks it up in the middle, finds Toyama on the left wing, he keeps it in. He's going to have him from the middle. Vocek header denied. Point blank, that's a great save. We got a corner now. Terrell low to take it. Goes short to Valela, gets blocked, we'll take it again. Terrell low. Short again. Valela drops it to absolutely nobody. Now Gonzalez is through. Do we have anybody back? Where is everybody? Gonzalez, one-on-one, -on -one. Barnsey with a save and a half. Valela now finds Toyama, who lumps it up to nobody, but Danny Tenorio picks it up, edge of the box, Danny Tenorio! Their keeper is having the game of his life. Coming back out for the second half, we need a better performance here. Got about 10 minutes left. Vegas with a free kick, Castillo. And of course, oh, thank God he was offside. Toyama gets a seal. Finds Cox up top. Leonard to Tenorio. Finds Hunter. Hunter! Rodriguez pushes it to the crossbar again. This guy is insane. Full time. Wow. Sebastian Rodriguez, the goalkeeper for Vegas. He had to make about 15 saves. 13. He made 13 saves. Good God. I mean, I can't fault the team. They, they played well. 23 shots, 12 on target, 60% possession. Zaire Bartley has now gone 19 matches without scoring a goal. That is a drought if I ever heard one. Oh, boys. Hugo Ariano. Fractured ribs. He is out. Four to six weeks. All right, and that is where we are going to end the episode. After 26 games, we are sitting in eighth place in the league, just outside of the playoff spots. Again, a lot of league left. We're doing okay. Started the episode strong. Four wins in a row. Hit that loss. Got a draw. Hoping to get that win at home. 
to wrap up this episode, but we'll take the draw, we'll take any points we can get. Unfortunately, we end it with the bad news about Hiro Ariano. Not a great way to end the episode, but here we are. Next time, hopefully we can use this transfer window to either bring more players in on loan or maybe even a couple of free transfers. We'll see, got some things in the works. We'll see if we can pull them off. Hopefully we can get some players in, get some bodies into this team, get some depth that is much, much needed. If you enjoyed that episode, make sure you drop a like on the video. Subscribe if you are new to the family. Click the bell icon so you don't miss a single episode of the full Mingo series. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.